Morning everybody, it's Keith Couch with Rocky Mountain Peterbilt Rush Truck Center here on YouTube. Got the right colors, I guess, for this time of year since we're coming up to the 4th of July. Um, red and blue, and more specifically, pull me over red and cobalt blue. Just need a white one in the middle, it'd look perfect. But uh, uh, a couple of cattle hauler trucks, thank you to Hawkswell Trucking out of McCook, Nebraska. Uh, for your business we do appreciate it um, we did do some nice upgrades to these nothing over the top just very basic stuff that makes them look really good they're both they're identical trucks just different colors um, as you can see we added the herd bumpers we'll go over that um, extended hood 2023 models 389 extended hoods 78 inch stand-up sleepers and we do the small short fairings on the back California fairings I guess you call them beautiful trucks we added the two extra cab lights probably gonna kind of just go over this red one here and then I might show you how the herd bumper tilts down so you can open your hood on the blue one added a couple extra cab lights up there 14 inch drop visor window chops to match polished everything you can see here on the def side or the the dpf side how the the they mount the lights up on the side of the cab on the other side it's mounted below the cab is because they set this step up higher standard phoenix light kits small penny or small led lights got a 150 on this side on the fuel tank step toolboxes that gives you your handles on the back of the sleeper six load lights back of sleeper uh, CB antenna and radio antenna did the Hogue built half fenders on this one they look really nice and polished stainless steel Michelin XDN 2s 11R22 5s 36 inch air slide fifth wheel we do the Holland FW35 on the fifth wheel LED rear lights. I'm going to skip over to the blue one since they are absolutely identical. They're consecutive VIN numbers. Here's your S bar heater. Exhaust. You got the jump posts right there. Air ride sleeper. This one does have the S-bar heater, as you can see there. So this one is a functional. Got the fuel tank heaters. Guys love those. Especially when you're not breaking down. So these herd bumpers, yeah, by the time they're installed, they're about $6,500. Gives it a really mean look. But they work. Um, you can hit quite a large object and it will keep it off out of the hood. So I've had guys hit elk with these. Get into cows and bulls. Those are a little more dense, but they do a great job. So what a lot of guys have asked me, it's like, well, how does that tilt forward? So that you can how do you how do you tilt your hood forward? So what you do, it's really easy. Got this pin right here. Pull the pin out. And then there's just a, a latch right here. Pull that latch. And the whole thing comes down. So then you can then in turn tilt your hood forward. So that's how those work. They're really, really simple. And then it relatches as soon as I put it up. That pin is more of a safety pin. Latches back. Put your pin back in. And that's it. So they're real easy. Real easy to deal with. But very, very functional. Um, 
they save a lot of hoods on a lot of trucks so and there's other brands we can use herds probably the best they're the most expensive and i think they're one of the originals but uh, they do a really good job I'll show you the inside this is a 605 2050 torque 18 speed 336 gears and a 280 inch wheelbase also did so i'm not going to tilt the hood for it you can see the airbags there for the air ride steer axle this is kind of our standard spec here for 389s platinum interior sears 80 seats and this truck weighs 18816 now that's without the herd bumper and, and all of that had this one running get her fired up we don't do nav most of the times in ours we just do the full gauges what we're starting to do is do like four gauges or four switches here four here and four here and then we run gauges all the way across the top which I think is a little bit better look but um, we can do it however you want there's the a panel AM, FM, Bluetooth, full lockers. Forgot to mention that when we were outside. You can see the three switches. <coughs> and there's our standard PTO switch that we throw in. And the air suspension drop. And there's the air slide fifth wheel. Again, 18 speed. You can tell that, but this is gray. That's what Eaton does. The 18 speed gets a gray. 13 speed gets a red. Smart wheel, <clears throat> and uh, these are the high back Sears 80. We're kind of switching over to the mid backs because it gives you a lot more room in here. This one's got the full cabinets. You can see, see the cabinets on the back there. I made that mistake on my previous uh, video. Didn't have the rear cabinets. Business center on the passenger side. Storage, place for a TV. cabinets all the way around fridge and a closet and this one there's your control panel as you can see the S bar heater is functional so I just thought I'd share this these two with you thank you Brian Hawkswell and Amy Appreciate the business very much. Shut that down. Cobalt blue and pull me over red. And I forgot to tell you, these do have train horns on them. I didn't test those, so. They look good and they look mean with those herd bumpers on them. Gorgeous trucks. Arrow mirrors on them. We even did the window chops on the sleeper, as you can see them there. So just thought I'd share these two with you. Uh, beautiful trucks. It's Keith Couch with Rocky Mountain Peterbilt Rush Truck Centers in Greeley, Colorado. 970-691-3877. If you can, text me at that number or email is the best. Couch K, that's C-O-U-C-H-K, at RushEnterprises.com. God bless you guys and you take care.